M wave, M wave, M wave. Join the M wave, M wave, M wave. Join the M wave. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, M wave. Back with another video. Today we're gonna do a brush review. So, if you've been rocking with me for a little while. Stay tuned, we about to get into all the hype. Cause everybody been talking about this brush. You already know, if you know, you don't know. And if you don't know, you know. It's that Royalty 726, I don't know if y'all can see it on the label. I like kind of bright. That Royalty 726 wash brush. We've been waiting for this for years from Brush King. Cause if you know anything about brushes, from Torino Pro Royalty Brush King, you know, they come with a wash card. And it basically, it's a maintenance card that basically tells you, you cannot use this brush in the shower. I'm trying to get it out, but it's not working. But anyway, it basically tells you, Brush King brushes are not to be submerged in water, not to be used in water, not to be used for your shower brush methods, washing styles. So basically, they all come with this, the maintenance card. And it tells you how to wash your brush. And the number one, it says, in this light, do not submerge your brush. So, um, Brush King spent some time on the pages, listening to people, like he usually does, and he um, came out with this brush, the Royal 2726. Now, right off the bat, I'm gonna get off a few features of the brush. If you had an old style royalty, the shape of it, the, this brush has some weight on it um, for a royalty. Usually the old style royalties were, were a little bit lighter. I don't know what type of wood he was using, but those brushes were a little bit lighter. So right off the back, you can feel the weight on this brush. So you know this brush is built to last in the water. Um, these bristles, he made the bristles hard. For So when they, you know, if you know anything about bristles, when you wash it, when you get them wet, or especially if you're using hot water, they tend to soften up a little bit. So he made this brush um, a little firmer. A lot of people using it, just regular, um, loving it. But I am I love the way this brush feels just off the bat. So I, I usually use a hard brush when I'm wash brushing. So this is, um, this is a good thing. Another thing you will notice about this brush, logo. All the royalty logos usually are um, painted on or sticker. This one is raised up. So it's in, in Boston there, and it's raised up. So high quality brush, go check it out. He did the drop, it's on Amazon, exclusively on Amazon if I'm not mistaken. You could go to his brush site, brush, his website and it'll direct you to um, an Amazon, um, his Amazon account where you could get the brush. $22.99. For now, I'm gonna say my um basically overall review for the end, but we're gonna just jump into the washing style. Let's go. Gonna be the dead horse. Usually my videos are somewhat mm, 15 minutes. I'm gonna try to go through this as fast as I can. So I'm gonna get into tools you're gonna need if you never watch my videos. Um, so I always start off with a comb session. This comb 
Fresh King sells it on his website, but I found this one in the beauty store. Oh, this is that price point. Dollar twenty nine. You can't beat it. One of the best combs out if you both in. Um, you're gonna need your mirror as usual. It's a little dirty. I'm gonna fix that. Um, you're gonna need uh your conditioner cap because I'm gonna condition first. And you know what comes with conditioner cap is your conditioner of choice. I'm using this Shea Moisture um, Hydrate. This is the, let me see if I can zoom in on that. Manuka Honey and Yogurt line I've been using. Good results, a lot of hype on that too, as well as the accompanying Manuka Honey and Yogurt Shampoo from Shea Moisture. So go out and get that good product. I have nothing but good things to say about it, but you're free to use whatever you want, like I always say, but that's worth it in my opinion. Um, and as usual, whatever your brush of choice, but I would go get this bad boy before it sells out because this is going to be a classic. I can feel it already. Um, and that's all you're going to need for tools. So I did a light brush search at work on my lunch break. Um, I'm home, obviously, now. So um, let's see what the wave's looking like under here. I've been, if anybody who's in or wants to know, I've been using um, curve brushes. I dropped some numbers at the end. Um, actually, I'm gonna do a um, review on a few more brushes, so I'll drop those numbers when I do the reviews. But um, yeah, I've, I've been using them curvy boys. Shout out to the pages, shout out to Kadeem Wiz. I don't know if he created it, but he put everybody on to a method of, the, of wrapping your do-rag where you do not have to tie it in the back. And I must say it's paying dividends for me. Let's mine in the back. Let's see what we looking like under here. All right, brush session paid off. Let's see. I'll do some crown work as usual. Um, so let's get into the washing style. I know your waves sitting pretty and you liking the way they look and you feeling yourself right now. But we, as usual, we are gonna get into the comb session. Um, like I said, this boy right here is the truth. So let's get into it. slowly you know one step at a time so yeah we are gonna add that that shea moisture maluka honey conditioner you know me i always condition before i wash if you're new to the videos it makes my hair softer just does it has a better effect for me in terms of Scramble conditions just to make sure the product is distributed in there. You're gonna get a good amount, a good amount of the product in your hair. I just want to get, I know we scramble conditioning, but I just want to get a test on the pull on this brush. Oh my god. Scram condition, cap up, just shut up with your conditioner cap. You choose your time limit, I do 30 minutes, so we're gonna chill for 30 minutes. And then I'll be back, you know what I'm saying? Let's get into it. So we all rinsed out. You're just gonna, we just gonna apply our um, shampoo while our hair's still wet. So I'm using, like I said, the Shea Moisture, Honey Manuka and Yogurt. Line. So let's get into it. I'm just going to fast forward that. So 
right, so since this is a brush review, I'm gonna get into some things I noticed right off top. As you brush in, usually I have to touch up my shampoo with the CQP brush I was using for my washing styles or the Diane brush I was using for my washing styles. This brush keeps the suds activated every time you brush. The, bris the bristles are hard enough that, and they're spaced out enough that the soap flows through instead of, instead of getting stuck all in the bristles. This one keeps the soap where it belongs in your hair. So I have not had to apply any more water or shampoo since I have done this, as you can see, in, in my time lapse. The bristles feel great. You don't have to apply too much pressure. And that's how you know a good brush, because the bristles will do what they're supposed to do. You won't have to be uh, scraping your head. You could just let it glide over your head. I think I think Brush King spent a lot of time researching this before he put it out. Years and years. This is a dope product. All right, let's get into the um. Brush your hair to where you need it to be. You're just gonna rag up. Shout out to Kadeem Liz from the pages, man. I don't know if he invented it or put everybody onto it, but this knotless method to tie your do rag. It's yielding great results for me. everybody to try it. It's been doing great for me. Okay, we got to um, we tie it up now with the shampoo still intact. I don't know if you can hear it. And we're just gonna rinse the shampoo out and let it air dry for two hours. And then I'm gonna give y'all my thoughts on the on the brush and my comments. Stay right, so we just rinsed out. Um, I'm double compressed. I'm gonna let my hair air dry for two hours and I'll show you guys the results. Um, just a regular silky bubble cap. But um, we're gonna get into my thoughts on the brush. So right off the bat, you can see Brush King is known for his bristles. These mixed ball bristles right here, hidden hard, but they work. So you don't have to apply as much pressure and the brush does the work for you. Like with all royalty brushes and all Torinos, if, you, if you're if you OG, not even if you're OG, if you've been rocking with these brushes, then you know Brush King made quality. The finish, the wood, the wood is a little heavier. I'm assuming it's more dense so as not to absorb water or not to absorb as much water. Um, the finish on this brush is high quality finish. It's, it's a satin finish, but it has a bit of wrinkle paint in on purpose. Now, I don't want, when I say wrinkle paint, I don't want you to think that, oh, they, they didn't put as much quality in the brush. Wrinkle, fin anybody who knows about paint, wrinkle, wrinkle finish, um, it provides a little more durability for, for for paint in general, but paired with this this wood, the weight of this brush is good. This wood quality and this finish, I can see what Brush King did his due diligence in making sure this brush will last you. Um, right down to the logo. You can see that's not your regular sticker logo. That is an embossed logo. It sticks out. Gold shine, royalty quality, what you'll come to expect. Um, Overall, great brush. It was worth the wait. Now, no video would would be a review without a comparison. So, Royalty 726 versus the CQ, CQP um, medium brush. This is not a this is not a wash brush, to be fair, but this is what I have been using for my washes because I heard that it was durable enough for 
for, to use as a wash brush. But as you can see, I don't know if you can see there, after a few washes, it cracked. Curved brushes are notorious for cracking underwater because of the shape of the brush. And, you know, it absorbs more moisture because of the, the, the bend of the brush. But this is what I was using, the CQP Medium. Um, worked for me, good washing style brush. Um, but in comparison to the Royalty brush, the Roy let's get started off with the bristles. I'm not sure CQP uses nylon mixed with boar bristle. So, I mean, that might be more, but you would think it would be more durable for the shower, but in all actuality, you wanna be using boar bristle for your hair to prevent damage and breaking of your hair. And it's just a better quality bristle. Um, the firmness, this is more firm, but it adapts as it get wet as it should be. So I guess Brush King made it a little more firm initially so that when it gets wet, it softens up. The CQP is, it's a medium hard. It's pretty firm, but it, you know, it loosens up a little bit after the, after it gets wet and after you've been using it a while. Um, only thing I would say about this brush, I would love to see it in a curved version. I know um, Brush King's probably got that in the works already, but I love to see it in a curved brushes in a curved version. Only because um, me, I've been using curved brushes. I switched over a while back, and the angles are a little bit different. So for a beginner, th this might throw you off. It shouldn't be too bad because you're only using it for your washing styles if that's what you're using it for. But um, as term, uh, in terms of consistency, if you don't know your angles, your brush angles correctly, this might throw you off a little bit if you're used to using curved brushes. Also, for the people who, only thing I'll say, the curved brush, the pointy tip, makes it easier for me to get into my crown work. But after a while of you, I was using flats for, for years. Now I won't say years. Back in the day, I was using flats for years. Since I've been waving again, I say I'll be a, a year in July. Um, I started off with flats and clubs. So I know how to angle this tip of the brush to get the crown work in. And if you're new to the wave game or if you're not a, a, you haven't been around a while to learn all the tricks, then this might be harder for you to work on the crown work. But if you're a beginner anyway, you shouldn't be worried about your crown too much yet. It's better to start off in the beginning to develop a good system of brushing from your crown, but it, you should be working on your actual waves themselves, turning them from ripples to waves, as well as your connections before you start really zeroing in on your crown or trying to close your crown. So overall, out of um, I would give this brush uh, 11 out of 10. <laughs> I know that's not a fair scale, but this overall bristles are great. The weight of the brush is great. Um, the finish of the paint is great. This embossed logo is a plus. I wish he could do that with all the brushes, but he already described why. Um, just the firmness of the brush is good. Um, if you saw in the previous, when I was washing my hair, how it, it has enough space to allow for the soap suds to go through and still get into your hair without wasting too much soap or reapplying too much soap. So that is definitely a bonus. Um, good job on Brush King on this brush. I'm glad he released it under the royalty line and not Torino because Torino gets a lot of the shine. They're both his lines, but royalty, this is a great brush. So overall, I would say pick this up. Royalty 726, um, it's available on Amazon. You can go to Brush King's website, it shows up there and it will give you the link to Amazon, but this is a great pickup, check it out. Um, and as usual, thank you for tuning in to my video, to my channel. Please like the video, share with your friends, subscribe for new content. Uh, I have a new work schedule, so I will be dropping more videos, more brush reviews. Let me know what you guys wanna see as far as my video, my channel. I'm gonna do my own thing, but it always helps to get feedback. But um, just thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Um, and I'm out. And wave out. Peace.